Welcome back to the video chat project with Golang series. In this video, we are building the handlers, uh, the room.go file. So uh, we've already created the basic outline of the function. So we'll have a room create function. Okay. And this function is actually complete, the room create function. Then we have the func room, then we have room websocket function. We have a create or get room. Then we have a room viewer side websocket function. Then we have a room viewer connection. And then we've defined the struct of what a websocket message looks like. It has an event and some data. So um, let's get started with the room function. This function is complete actually. And in the room function, what we'll do is uh, you have UUID, see where you'll get the params. And if you'll check if it's zero, then you'll send 400. Uh, then what you'll do is you'll create a WebSocket. So you'll say WS is equal to WS. And you'll check for environment variable. Now we're, we're only building this product for development environment, but we're just checking for production anyways. And in production, you'll have WebSocket secure, secure with, you know, like, like HTTPS. So in case you want to do that for production, you can do that. But in, in our case, we're just building it for, um, in our case, we're just building it for uh, you know, development environment, not production. Then you have create or get room, right? The create or get room function being called with the UUID. Okay, so it'll, this function, the, the job for this function, the create or get room function, will be to either get the room with that unique ID, or if it doesn't exist, it'll create the room with that ID. And finally, you will say peer comma fiber dot map. And to render, uh, you will say room web socket address then you have the room link right this is all for the chat uh, then you'll say chat web socket address then the stream link and then the type so you want to pass all of this data to one of the front end files, right? To layout main. So out here we'll say layouts main. And we'll now complete all of these. So at the end, obviously you, you have a comma for all of these fields. And the type is just room. For room WebSocket address, you'll, you'll we'll use fmt.sprintf. Say percentage s percentage s slash room slash web socket and now you'll replace these percentage s with the right things. So for example, let's say web socket dot c dot host name here. And then for the room, the room has a particular ID, right? So you'll replace that with UUID, right? So sprintf basically helps you to structureize these kind of uh, strings with uh, and and replace these with the actual variables so that's how sprintf helps you and we'll use the same thing so we'll use sprintf again here also to format the string and we'll do that here as well, we'll do the same here as well okay and then here uh, we will cop actually the fastest way is to copy this for now and uh, only thing is there won't be any web socket so let's say room slash percentage s so you have percentage s and then colon to backslashes percentage s slash room slash percentage s and we'll replace these things by c dot protocol so are you using like http https whatever c dot host name 
and comma UUID. And a comma at the end. So let's check if all the brackets are uh, closed. Yeah, so this bracket shouldn't have been closed here. It's supposed to only be get it's supposed to get closed out here. And here also we'll just copy and paste this whole thing. Quickly. Here at the end we'll add slash chat because the chat websocket address, right? So if we'll say chat, chat slash web socket and here uh we will say instead of c dot protocol we'll say ws for the web socket and c dot host name and then uuid three things uh apart from chat uh, between chat web socket address and stream link there is one more which is the viewer web socket address so let's add that also viewer web web socket address which is again going to be equal to fmt dot sprintf and inside this we can copy this whole thing paste it here but uh, instead of chat web socket we'll have viewer web socket and wsc hostname and uuid is all the same Put a comma at the end and then everything looks all right to me then for the string link uh just copy this and instead of the room just replace that by stream comma c dot protocol then c dot host name comma s u u i d okay so for our layouts main we have sent the layout main all of the information like you know this is the web socket address for the room this is the chat web socket address the viewer web socket address all of those things and this is it this is our room function now i want the os package and all of these packages so let me control s and hopefully it'll get all of those things for me all right now we have to work with our room websocket function which uh, looks like it's already complete so the, the room websocket function is already complete then you have your create or get room function uh, then you have your room viewer websocket now room viewer websocket function i think we can tackle right now in this video and for create or get room function because it's quite big we'll have to do that in the next video so room viewer websocket what we can do is we can start off with uuid and checking the params for uuid check if uuid is empty then you return and rooms lock dot lock then we'll use the comma okay For the rooms UUID rooms lock dot unlock and to the room viewer connection function which we'll be creating right now it takes in two things it takes in C and it takes in all the peers so we'll say C peers dot peers and return Okay, and finally you'll again unlock so this is your uh, room viewer websocket function the, the most of the magic will happen in the room viewer connection function and in the create or get room function and that's what we'll tackle in the next video thanks a lot for watching till now uh, and I'll see you in the next video